Good morning Dodger fans. Today we are out at LAX flying the Boeing 747-8 freighter, uh, this time for Atlas. I see we have some air traffic coming in. It's going to be a busy day. Uh, this aircraft came in from Honolulu about three hours ago. They've got it offloaded. We are reloading for Chicago and uh, looks like this airplane's going to crash as he's coming in. Let's see if he can pull it off. Oh no, and it's a DHL plane too. Let's see what he does. Nah, he pulled it off. What the hell? Anyhow, uh, these guys are just about done loading. We still have quite a bit of fueling to do. It takes almost an hour to fuel the airplane. Um, while we're up here, up in uh, space, I'll show you around where we're at. Uh, we're at the Imperial Cargo Area at LAX. Uh, Delta has a very small presence up here, but most of this is all DHL. I don't know why they put a UPS airplane there, or a FedEx. Uh, the, the computer doesn't really know any different. It puts cargo planes on cargo ramps and passenger planes on passenger ramps without a lot of regard for where they're supposed to be. Uh, right in front of you is the main DHL building here at LAX. Um, off to the distance you can see Hotel Row and Imperial Highway. And that is probably the loudest tri-pacer I've ever heard in my life. Hurry up and get gone, guy. Anyway, out there in the distance, you can see the main terminal building at LAX. Looks like it's going to be a nice day today. Uh, right now, I would have my co-pilot doing the walk around on the airplane, looking for hydraulic leaks, looking for any damaged surfaces, anything that looks like it's going to fall off, and make sure that the loading crew doesn't tear something up. Uh, there is a reason with an active aircraft that you always keep your logo lights on in the dark so that they don't accidentally load the wrong airplane. Yes, it happens. Keep your marker lights on on your wings so that nobody drives into your wingtips. And if you have personnel aboard the airplane, Leave your upper and lower beacon lights on so that the ground crew knows that there are people inside that, oh, I don't know, may decide to randomly shut the doors on you while you're not looking. Uh, anyway, that's about it for the outside walk around. Uh, we'll see you back inside the cockpit when uh, they get just about done loading. Okay, we're back in the cockpit. Uh, we're just about ready to go. We're fueled. Uh, now it's time to get the airplane ready to fly. This is a very logical flow. Uh, this is how you're going to find the airplane if it's been hot seated. Some of the stuff's going to have been left on. Uh, first we're going to start on the center console. We're going to check our rudder trim, wing trim, we're going to set the seat belt sign to auto. Main deck alert is off and caged. Nav radios normally are in the off position. Transponder is not yet set. We'll get that in a minute. This is our center flight management computer. It is on and running. I want to verify that all three of my radios are on and that COM2 is synchronized with backup COM. COM1 is my primary and you can see that the radio frequencies selected are different between the two. Now we're going to go up to the dash panel, the source select switches. All this does is just changes what you're looking at on each panel. You can customize it as you like. For standard operation, all of these switches need to be straight up and down. I'm going to slide sideways here. and our emergency equipment is off and caged off and caged switches are straight up and down we're going to move back to my seat thank you very much and we're going to move to the overhead panel 
this is a extremely logical flow how to set the overhead for running our uh, electronic engine control should be on we're going to cage those we don't want to accidentally shut something off our navigation should be set utility bus is on battery is on we're running on the APU the bus ties are set for automatic generator controls are on then we're going to come back and we're going to set our hydraulic pumps to auto and we're going to turn them on. Now for our flight today we're only going to be drawing fuel off the two inboard main wings. Uh, we don't have any fuel uh, loaded in the belly tank or at least very little uh, and I don't think we're going to end up having to need the outboard tanks. If we start getting a low fuel warning, we just reach up and enable the tanks. Up on the top, this is our fire suppression system. We want to make sure that all our fire extinguisher bottles are in the off position. Uh, the master switch to engage the fire bottles is off and caged. And we've got no lights uh, on the fire warning further on down this is our fuel dumps the nozzles should be off and caged then we're gonna work our way up we don't need window heat today it's a nice warm day uh, we're gonna move back up to the top of the right panel fuel transfer reserve one and four should be automatic and caged the ram air turbine should be off center air data needs to be normal straight up and down I think you're starting to get a, a theme here Supernumerary oxygen is set to normal. Uh, we do have a couple of jump seaters with us today, so we want to enable their emergency oxygen just in case. The yaw damper upper and lower, we're going to set that to on before flight. The cabin altitude control should be set to normal. Straight up and down on the switches again automatic automatic straight up and down off and caged we have pack one running with the APU bleed on uh, the packs just they control air conditioning and cabin pressurization so we're getting ready to, to bail out of here so we're gonna turn all three packs on and we're gonna turn the bleed air on that's what lets us start the engines actually we use the APU to provide air pressure to spin the engines over. That looks like about it for the moment. And now we need to get on the radios and uh, start getting a little bit of information and get ready to go. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back with you. We, you can hear we've got our radios going, and we're going to get ready to uh, get permission to take off out of here. So hang on just a second. Clear Jack to Kellen S. Files 2047 for the box 6007. Giant 265 Heavy is ready to copy. Giant 265 Heavy is clear to Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta. Climb via the dots to departure with the Klee transition then direct to Golf Charlie Romeo Papa Tango 1 then is filed. Expect departure runway 25 left. Climb to flight level 230 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 124.3 squawk 5233. Giant 265 Heavy is cleared to Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta. Climb via the DOTSS2 departure, with the Klee transition, then direct to Golf Charlie Romeo Papa Tango 1 then is filed. Climb to flight level 230 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 124.3 squawk 5233. Giant 265 heavy read back correct. Altimeter 3009 or contact ground on 121.4 when ready for pushback enjoy your morning. Altimeter 3009 or ground on 121.4 giant 265 heavy. Okay so we're going to set our altimeter for 3009. On 225 or cushion 265 ground. And we see four left taxi straight ahead on with y'all. Straight ahead for 265 to 3.0. And we're going to come down here and set the squawk. I think she said 5233. Three. 
Turn transponder on, and I can check that here in just a second. Spot 5233. Hey, I had a correct. Giant two six five heavy is ready to push back. Giant two six five heavy contact tower on one two zero point nine or five. Tower on one two zero point nine or five. Giant two six five heavy. Tower Giant 265 Heavy is ready to push back. Giant 265 Heavy winds are calm cleared for takeoff, runway 25 left. Cleared for takeoff, runway 25 left, Giant 265 Heavy. Great news, Captain, your toe's coming. And now we wait. All right, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Welcome Three. aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pins inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Okay. Brakes on. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. Alright, here we go. Oops. Turn the fuel pumps on. Come back up here, and with this APU, we can start two at a time. We start the inboards, and we're going to get most of our lights on. Never turn the taxi on while you're being pushed. The uh, taxi lights are mounted on the nose gear, and if you turn those lights on, you blind the tug driver, and he will disconnect and drive away. Okay, the inboards are running normally. We'll come back up here. Turn the outboards on. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Brakes on. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. 
Heading 220, clear for takeoff. Left for 220, clear for takeoff. Where are you going? Left. Okay, well, we're waiting on him to leave. Just set my cruise up. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Thank you, sir. We're cruising at 37,000. And we're going to arm the co pilot's flight director, pilot's flight director. Auto throttle is armed. Initial climb out set for 200 knots. That's good. LNAV and VNAV are armed. And we're going to go up on the upper panel. Normally you set the taxi lights until you get on the runway, but today we've got about a 200 yard uh, taxi. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the landing lights on and they can just like it or lump it. Intel, please helicopter one. We're going to depart to northeast. We're going to set please auto brakes for rejected one. takeoff. And as we start rolling, we're going to start bringing our flaps down to 20 degrees. Breaks off. Towers up with 16 and 92, 31 center. So 692, good morning, runway 31 center, could have landed with 240 center. And we're rolling. 31 center, south with 16, 92. To be really careful here. This thing does not like to turn. That 10 miles an hour is good for us here. I'm going to kind of exaggerate these turns to make sure we don't drag the gear through the dirt. Turn right, cross from it, turn right, then contact ground. Have a good one. Turn right, cross through one right, then we'll contact ground southwest 1692. Good day, sir. And that's about the hold short point. I'm going to have a quick look. Nobody coming that way. Nobody coming that way. Let's roll on.